Hello friends. I'm trying to teach you various trading strategies as frequently as possible. I have used many of these trading strategies for many years and have also subjected some I do not present Let's start with a short position example. First, we need to find a divergence between price and the RSI indicator. We have identified the divergence. Now we will wait for the green line of the alligator indicator to make a downward crossover to the bottom. As you can see, the alligator indicator has made a cross under movement, and now we will wait for a pullback movement and draw a support line at the resulting bottom level. There was a close below the support line. We will open a trade at the closing level of this candlestick. Our target will be a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Let's look at another short position example. All the necessary conditions for a short position have been met. There is a divergence between price and the indicator. The lines of the alligator indicator have made a downward crossover. And the price has formed a bottom level below the alligator indicator. We have drawn our support line from the bottom level. And will wait for it to be broken. The support line has been broken to the downside, and we will open a trade at the closing level of this candlestick. Now let's quickly look at the last short position example. Now let's look at long position examples, again. We are looking for divergence between price and the indicator. Next, we will wait for the price to first rise above the alligator indicator, and then for the indicator lines to turn upwards as well. Lastly, after a pullback movement, we draw a resistance line at the peak level and wait for a close above this line.
let's quickly look at two more long position examples. And right after that, I will teach you how to trade in a different style using the same indicators. Perhaps that approach could provide you with a higher profit rate. Please watch the video without skipping. And don't forget to hit the like button in the meantime. Friends, now we will trade in a different style using the same indicators. Please pay close attention because this trading style generates very strong signals. Firstly, we will wait for the RSI indicator line to rise above the 50 parameter middle line. And we will draw resistance line from the previous peak level of the indicator. Since the RSI indicator is a leading indicator, it can signal breakouts before the price does and help us anticipate the direction of the trend in advance. But of course, there is no guarantee. I'm setting the initial target at a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. And if I reach this level, I will take some profit and continue. At the same time, I will make sure to adjust the stop loss level to the entry point of the trade, reducing my risk to zero. I'm also extending my final profit target to the previous swing high level, as I mentioned in earlier videos. Now let's look at a short position example, using the same trading style. The RSI line has dropped below the 50 parameter level. Now we draw resistance line from the recent low point and wait for a downward breakout. The support line we drew on the RSI indicator has been broken. And at the same time, all lines of the alligator indicator have made a downward crossover. And for the final confirmation, we draw a support line at the last low level formed by the price. As you can see, we took some profits when we reached our initial target and then the price reversed, hitting the stop loss order we had set at the entry point. However, I continued the price action to show you that our trade could have reached the full target. From this trade, we should draw the conclusion that no matter how well you set up a trade, 
It is essential to keep your stop loss level under control, or else you may be at risk of losing your entire capital, patience, discipline, and sticking to your trading strategy lead to success. Goodbye and take care.